Hello, hello, you guys. Welcome back to another video. I'm so sorry that this video has not gone up sooner today. If you guys follow me on Instagram, which is Mish Pearson, I told you guys last night that I had filmed a video with Brad all about our engagement story, but the entire video, Brad was in focus and I was completely out of focus. So we're gonna have to film it again <laughs> at some point, but it was so bad that I just couldn't let it slide. Anyway, it is the afternoon. I just got the twins down and Max and Molly are inside. I'm in my garage right now. I don't think I've ever filmed in my garage, but I wanted to film a quick organization idea for you guys and I wanted to share with you guys. So I don't have the biggest garage. I only have uh, a two car garage and we don't have like built in shelving or anything yet. We just are slowly um, figuring out how to organize and store stuff in our house. Obviously you guys know we keep having kids, but not long ago I was able to organize this and it used to look crazy. I wish I had a before picture. But now I feel like I have a good system and I'm really excited about it, so I wanted to share it with you guys because we spend a lot of time outside because now, especially because it's getting spring. So let me share with you guys what we have going on here. Okay, so let me show you guys what it looks like. I know it's not picture perfect or anything, but this has worked so well for us the last month or so. So I wanted to kind of share with you guys, give you some ideas if you needed them. Um, don't mind this. This is just a stroller hanging up and Brad's bike rack. So we're going to try to figure out what to do over here. But for right now, let's just focus on this. So this is from Ikea and all these bins that you see right here are from Target and they're a smaller size. They have bigger ones, but these are the kind of like medium sized ones. And you can see I have a black and white thing going on because I really love black and white stuff because it's just really simple looking. Okay. So before you guys get mad at me, I know we have a lot of drinks, a lot of sodas. Let me move this down here actually. But what we like to do is whenever they go on sale, you know, like four for three or three for four dollars or twelve dollars or something. That's when we kind of stock up and then over time we use it. So like these two are actually, oh, this is empty. Okay. <laughs> I'm cleaning it as I'm talking to you guys. All right. And these are my protein shakes. And then I move them into the house as I see fit. So, okay, now that that is taken care of, I'm gonna share with you guys kind of what I do. So this bottom bin, I noticed like as we did a lot of, we do a lot of sports. So every kid has their own shin guards, their own soccer shoes, they have basketballs, and it was just going everywhere. So my kids are still pretty little, so their stuff just needs to kind of be right by the door so we can just like get up and go because we're always going to practices or games or whatever. So this is kind of my solution. So. The bottom bin, as you see right here, is the basketball, football bin. Will has the basketball that goes in here, but he actually took it to school today, but it's nice because it's just always right there. These two bags are from Ikea as well. I think they're like $5, but I love them for the pool. Max came to get his basketball. <laughs> Have fun. See you later, cute guy. <laughs> so these are our swim bags. So there are the floaties in there. We have swim diapers already in there. We have sunscreen in there. And these are bags that I've talked about before, but these are from Walmart and they're wet bags. So I put sunscreen in them. We have toys in them. So anything pool related, when I need to go to the pool or we're going swimming, I just grab it and go. And then this has towels in it as well. So it's kind of nice to just have it right here handy in the garage. So that's the bottom bin. Then we have this next middle section right here. This just has all chalk in it. So if the kids want to color and play with chalk, that's all in there. Then this has like other sports stuff. So like Molly's basketball, some Frisbees, the boys softball gloves, just like little things like that. Oops. This next bin just has like remote control cars, and tennis balls, just like random little things. And then this part is my favorite part, this next row. It's my kids like sports stuff. So this is Molly's bin right here. So she goes to swimming lessons, so this is her swim bag. Then she has her soccer jersey and her shoes and her flip flops for swimming. Everything is in there, so anytime we are rushing somewhere. It's all in here. All right, this next bin is Max's bin and it has his shin guards, his soccer socks, and his cleats and everything. And obviously as I need to wash things, I take it and wash it, but I always store it right here because we don't have like enough room for a cubby inside the house. This is Will's stuff, so his soccer cleats, his shin guards, all of that is like ready to go. This next one just kind of has like a little bag and a couple of mats and like a blanket to sit on. And then as you see here, this just has the drinks. And then this has like Brad's, like miscellaneous stuff. He has pickleball stuff in there, his bike stuff. So just like little things here and there and then some trash bags. 
And then this thing I think is pretty cool. This I got from the Target dollar section, I believe. But when we're playing outside, it's like we always need like random little things, and so I wanted it easily accessible. So we have sunscreen, we have Neosporin, we have Band-Aids. This is like some bite stuff for bad. But that is it, you guys. That's kind of some ideas. If you guys have any great storage ideas, please let me know down below in the comments. But this has been working really well. It's been about a month now and nothing has been like in disarray. Like it's always been clean and organized. And it used to be insane. I can't even tell you how bad it used to be. The rest of my garage is not perfect. <laughs> but this little section brings me so much happiness because we use it all the time and it just makes me happy. So that is it for my garage organization tips. I hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification button so you guys can see when my videos go up. Once again, I'm doing them Monday through Friday to get to the best of my ability and I'm headed out of town this weekend as well. I'm going somewhere again. So if you guys live in the Phoenix, Arizona area, let me know what's a must play, like what's a must see, like where should I go, what should I do, uh, just let me know. Anyway, we'll see you guys later, bye.